two, three, one, two, three. Hey guys, Race here, Digi9. Just a quick update on the Katmandu setup I got going on. If you guys watched the last video, anything? Yeah. You got it? I'm recording. Are you recording? Yeah. <laughs> I just wanted you guys to see. Uh, I didn't even notice it before, but the uh, attack angle is way better now because of the bigger drivers. As you can see in the video, the track coming off the drivers is not even getting close to the tip of the front of the rails. It's actually hitting the, the idler wheels uh, about a foot, foot and a half down on the, on the rails. So the attack angle is better. I noticed it huge climbing in the mountains. The front end stays down. This track is working awesome. It's nice and light. It spins fast. I don't have to change any clutching. It's awesome. Check out that ski do track on a kitty. Kitty's hauling. The track works awesome, guys. So if you guys watch the video on the install, you'll notice that I put bigger drivers in because of just the way it had to work out. There's lots of room in the cat for bigger drivers and the three inch track. So these drivers are a quarter inch, quarter inch to three eighths of an inch bigger around in diameter than the stock ones. So what that does is drops the track even farther, makes it spin over easier. As anybody knows, the bigger wheel makes it easier to spin and it's working way better. So the attack angle on this sled is way better than stock and it keeps the front end down, pops it out of the snow. You don't dig down as much anymore like with that powder claw track. We've had a lot of people on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, yicking a little bit about how bad the dew track is. Um, and that the powder claw was kind of the best and all this stuff. But I mean, all these three inch tracks will come apart if you drive fast. And that's, that's just a known thing. That's why they don't warranty the tracks because if you go fast or try to go fast down the trail, these tracks come apart. Um, I've got two days on this dew track now in very shitty conditions. Uh, I've been driving over stumps, rocks, spinning, I had no issues with it right now. I've uh, checked it. I mean, not sure what's going to happen in the long run, but it's doing really well so far. It's light. Um, it's working. I know it's working way better than the powder claw track. It's not digging down as much um, because of the stiff outside paddles, those finger paddles on the powder claw. Great for hard pack, uh, not so great in the deep snow. This track is probably a little better in the deep snow. Um, it's still great on the hard pack, but who likes driving on hard pack with a three inch track? I mean, come on guys. So check out this do track if you can get one. I think it's the shit. Not fun when this comes off. It came off on me once in the mountains. I took it to the cat dealer to get him to fix it because it was still under warranty. All I did was take this banged up, this banged up bolt or knot or whatever you call it and screwed it on with some Loctite. They didn't put a new one on or nothing. So I got to thinking everybody's cutting the tunnels off nowadays and making them shorter. Why not just add a longer track? This looks cool. 